welcome back y'all um don't mind how i look right now i just came back from the gym had a little workout but i do love my progress your girl is down 12 pounds sis 12 no but okay but, but that's not what we hear about so I just wanted to come here and do a part two of the worst deodorants ever in the world. And I'm not joking, worst. Hmm? These two are worse than the first episode that I showed you guys, okay? I'm that mad because I'm like, you know what? Let me give this deodorant a try because I do have one of its other varieties, this brand. I have one of its other varieties that does work on me, but is not as natural. So I was like, oh, okay, well, this looks cute. It's a little bit of a jelly type thing, but it's not a jelly. It's kind of like a solid, but a gel at the same time. I was like, let me try this. No. Hmm? No. Somebody called up and told me that I want my money back. Let me show y'all. Let me just show y'all. This. A joke. A joke. Like, and you know in my other episode where I was talking about, oh, you could, you know, you can repurpose it. No. These are trash. Okay. I can't even wear it at the in the nighttime at bedtime because by the time I get out of the shower, put it underneath my arms and lay in the bed, it's like I did an eight hour workout. Like, what I'm gonna do with this, sis? What I'm gonna do with this? So, this one, I don't remember if I spent, did I spend? It says $9.90. Now, I'm pretty sure I did not spend $10 for no type of deodorant. I'm going to have to look it up and put, like, the picture here or something. But I'm pretty sure I would not lose my mind and spend $10 on some deodorant. That's not in my nature. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up for real. But anyway, um, this is the 0%. Look. They're both covered up, so I have to like... Okay, so this is called the 0% deodorant from Dove, right? Zero percent what, Dove? Um, Zero percent residue leftover after applying or zero percent no odor after applying? Because I got a hundred percent of wetness after applying. Like, is it just me? But anyway, let me finish explaining to you guys. To you guys. So it does say 0%, but let me take this off. Um, try to take it off so you can see like the actual, oh Lord. All right, while I'm doing this, we can do a little chat, chat, chat. So, um, if you follow me on Instagram, I was talking about this in my stories. I get this a lot. Like, no matter what job I go to, where I go to, um, the number one question that's always asked of me is, why are you so happy? Or, no, why are you always so happy? Or, um, you seem to be very peaceful. Like, what do you do? Or um, Dana, like, um, you know, um, how do you maintain, like, a lifestyle of, like, happiness or something like that? And in a way, I am very grateful that people see me in that type of light. But, wow, this is really not coming off. But the one thing that I want to say is happiness is not dependent on where you are who you're with, how much money you have, or what you're doing. That's not where your happiness comes from. Your happiness comes from you. Do you love yourself? And don't get me wrong, I'm not perfect because I still struggle with moments where 
Like, I'm insecure about certain things. Like, my boyfriend can tell you. <laughs> Dana has her insecure moments. Yes. But I just, I don't know. Like, I find it so shocking sometimes that people could say, Dana, why are you always so happy? Like, why do you always seem so joyful? And honestly, it's God. Because <laughs> if I tell y'all some of these stories that I've been through, my God. <laughs> but he kept me, okay? So, my thing is. A lot of it for me, everybody's different. A lot of it for me had to do with me learning myself. Like, for example, this is only one thing that I'll tell you guys, but this is my thing that has helped me. I am very big on protecting my peace, right? So, you know how like when you go to work and you know there's certain people that you you just do not vibe with or what Caribbean people like to say is, um, we call it, oh my God, um, or a lot of people say it's something about her. Or uh, West Indian people would be like, um, my spirit don't take her. Or something like that. You know, we'll say something like that of that manner. Um, but my thing is, when you get that feeling that you just don't vibe with somebody, don't force it, one. Two, if you know you have to work with that person and you know you guys just don't vibe. It's not, like, it's not that you have any beef with that person at all whatsoever. It's literally just their energy does not match yours. Stay clear. Like, and not to say be a jerk. You don't have to be a jerk. You can just be like, keep it cordial. Hey, good afternoon. Good morning. How are you? This, that, and the third. But when you know your energy does not vibe or match with somebody else, you literally just keep it respectful and cordial and simply just like, business wise like that's how a lot of the times i do keep my peace now there was one time where i tried lord i tried and i kind of blew up on somebody but that's like the only time out of billions of times that i knew somebody's energy did not match with mine and i just kept it cordial kept it business like Good morning. Hi. How are you doing? If you need help, I will help you. But when it comes to, when it comes into diving into deeper parts of me, of myself, of my life, I don't let those type of people in that I don't match energies with. Like if that makes any sense. So I'm very sensitive to people's energies. So once I can sense automatically that I'm not going to be able to vibe with your type of energy, I already know how to treat you. Because at the end of the day, I'm protecting my peace. So that's one of the ways that I keep my happiness within. That's one of the, the ways that um, I literally am able to maintain like a childlike mentality. If you, if you look at a lot of the people that have focused on healing themselves, their number one thing is, well, two things are maintaining peace no matter where they are with whomever they are with. And finding their inner child and, and making that inner child happy. Once you make that inner child happy, everything else will exude from that. Like you'll just be spitting out happiness and joy and whatever the case may be, wherever you are, no matter where you are. People will always notice that about you. So for me, that's one of the, that's two of the two ways. Well, I want to say that's two of the five ways that I keep myself at a state of like peace and happiness where Others can't really break that from me. But anyway, let's get back into the deodorant because it's getting too long. So I cannot take this off, but I will show you guys like how it looks. So underneath this sticker, it says 0%, right? So um, this is lavender and vanilla scent. Now, I'll give Dove its props. It does smell really, really, really good. However, like, dog, I'm not, and, and you know what me. I do not like to waste product. If you see in my first video, episode one of Worst Deodorants, I hate to waste product. But this is so bad that I cannot use it for anything at all whatsoever. Like, I would have to literally save this for, like, when my best friends come over and they fly over and let's say they forgot their deodorant. I'm like, girl, I got you. I got deodorant here. Use this, huh? Like, something like that. But, like, I can't even use, I can't use this for nothing. Not for the gym, not for the grocery store, not to get out the, get out the shower and get in the bed, not to go to work with. Like, not, I can't use this for nothing, nothing. Because, like, when it applies, it's like, it's garbage. It's not concealing any odor. It literally just feels like water and oil going underneath my armpits and doing nothing. Like, 
it, it has no purpose. This is what I'm saying. So this is what it looks like. This is what you can see the gloss. You can even see the gloss from it, right? And then you go like this, sis. Sis, you see, like, why? Dove, why? Why, Dove? Why? 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 So, but it smells really good. I would give you that, but like, garbage. Garbage, okay? So this is this one. This is the lavender and vanilla. And then, same thing with this one. This one is for sensitive skin, right? Same idea. I got it from CVS, as you can tell. It's covering up the 0%, but it ain't covering none, okay? Smells good as well. I put it on my nose. <laughs> um, Horrible, but same thing. Glossy, like glossy for no reason, just glossy, right? Applying it to my skin. Sis, why? Why? This don't do nothing. What we doing? It's like, <laughs> it's like they just put a whole bunch of oil, mix it in some water, found a way to solidify it and said, boom, a deodorant. Let's sell it to the people. Fail. Dove, dove, we need to talk, okay? So um, in my next video, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite deodorants that actually do work with no problems. Like, your girl is secure when I wear my favorite deodorants. Some are absolutely natural, and then there's like two of them that is not as natural. One of them is a Dove one, but that Dove one actually works. This crap, I don't even know what the difference is. I guess because it says 0%. Maybe because it says 0%, I don't know. Um, oh, because it says 0% alcohol. My bad, y'all. 0% alcohol, because it says it right here at the bottom. If you can see that, 0% alcohol. So I guess that's what it's referring to. And then it says one fourth moisturizers. So those moisturizers and that no alcohol, fail, okay? So I don't know, like, mm -mm. fail. So my next video is gonna show you guys, like I said, the best deodorants for my armpit type because again, everybody's skin is different. Um, like I said, some of them are natural and then some of them are not natural. And I'm gonna show you guys why I like them, when I use them, all that good stuff, okay? So um, yeah. Um, I am also looking for suggestions about kind of like what to do with my hair because I am a loose natural, but I'm tired of being a loose natural. So my, um, suggestions for myself and others have been giving me advice as well has been either to, well, what I originally wanted to do was to shave it all off and start over and just have a nice shave, clean cut with some designs at the side and then like a little curly something. So my best friend has sent me a picture of like what she thought I would look good in. And I was like, ooh, that's how it's so cool, okay. And then um, I was also thinking about doing some micro locks, but not doing the palm rolling method, but doing the interlocking method. So leave some suggestions down below as to what you guys would think would go really well with me because I am tired of being a loose natural, okay? So something gotta give soon because I'm getting that itch to just cut it all off and just, yeah. So later guys, stay tuned, like and subscribe, love you, bye-bye.